Did I order black or did I order silver? Hmm. I thought I had the calculations right. <laughs> really, really weird over there. And baby, I got it. Outside in an AMG. Right outside. TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. channel today is a video as you can see from the title it is going to be the start of another living alone weekly vlog thank you so much for tuning in this week if you're new here hey girl my name is Akira Janae don't forget to subscribe and join the bell before you leave so as you guys can see from the title this is going to be a very exciting vlog and if you watched um last week's vlog then you already know what's going down I am about to finally transform my guest room beauty room office YouTube studio whatever you want to call it today i have a few amazon packages behind me and then i've been getting amazon packages from last week so we're going to go ahead and start revamping this room we're going to jump right into it because there is a lot of other things that i do have planned for this week and i don't really want this video to be too long i kind of want to keep them at least an hour or under like an hour long so yeah we're going to start off with <clears throat> this everything that i show y'all will be linked down below in my amazon storefront always so this i actually got this like three months ago when i decided that i was going to do like a black wall in here but i'm glad i didn't do that um my wallpaper actually never came so i just canceled the order so i had bought this with black wallpaper months back and i'm glad i didn't do black in here because yeah that would have been too much but i got this it's a wallpaper smoothing kit y'all know the last time that i did wallpaper i literally used like a piece of workout equipment to like smooth it out but i got the actual tools this time this was like four dollars on amazon so i got this and then i also wanted to show you guys this i think i showed y'all um maybe last week but this is literally just a um bath towel bar is what it's called also again if you're new here if I talk a little funny, it's because I got an Invisalign in. <laughs> I told y'all I'm still getting used to it, so sorry in advance. But this is just um, what you hang your towels on, but I'm going to use it to hang up my bundles. So this was like $9 on Amazon. I got it. I got two of these, and I really should have got four because they are really slim. And I kind of want two on this side, two on that side to house. Because y'all know I sell raw hair and virgin hair, so this side will be like raw hair that side will be virgin hair and then i can do body wave and straight up top curly and like deep wave at the bottom so i probably will order two more of these on amazon so super excited about that and then we're going to open up these boxes right here i know this one is my wallpaper because this one came in last week hopefully this will be enough wallpaper i only bought three because this wall is smaller than the wall that i already have done over here and i think i used four for that one and then the one in my room i've used four or five so hopefully three rows will be good enough it is 16 by 118 inches so i'm praying three will be enough if not then i'm just gonna have to order one more so this one is a shelf it's um one of those metal shelves that you see everybody who honestly have a small business usually have or just other like actual businesses be having this too as well so i wanted to get this to kind of maximize my height in the room instead of having a lot of things go horizontally i wanted to utilize like i said the height and go vertically did i order black or did i order silver hmm I probably ordered black. I thought I had silver, but it's cool. We we gon' we gonna keep just the black and white going on in here. So this is how it looks coming straight out the pack. It's a little heavy, so I ain't gonna hold it up that way. Ugh. Jesus. So I wanted to put my little Peloton bike in my closet, but if I can utilize if I can put everything on this shelf and have that kind of cleared out i feel like it'll look less cluttered in here so that's why i didn't put the bike in my closet just yet until i actually see how this looks put together and i'm gonna go ahead and get started 
on this wallpaper. I'm gonna open one to see how it looks. Hopefully everything matches up. The tricky thing with wallpaper is people in the reviews, they usually say like it doesn't, one row doesn't match up with the other row. Like sometimes it's lighter, sometimes it's darker. And I kind of had that problem as well in my bedroom with my black wallpaper. I feel like one of them is a little bit lighter. You can't really tell, but if you, like, since I'm the one who lives here and put it up, I can definitely tell and I know the difference. So hopefully this wallpaper looks uniform throughout all three rows. I wanted that concrete type of look. Obviously, everybody now is shying away from the grass wall and doing a freaking concrete plain type of background but i've been loving it since because y'all know i did the brick y'all know i got brick over there and i wanted something to really complement the brick and the black would have just been too dark in here so i am excited to get this i feel like it'll complement that really really well so we're going to go ahead and start putting this up so first thing i want to do is move everything off of this wall obviously so it'd be easy to put up the wallpaper Help me. Well, I can pick it up. Help you. Help you, strong woman. You strong? I can move this myself. There's nothing more that pisses me off while trying to redo a room with wallpaper. It's running out of wallpaper. This is the only wallpaper that I have left. So out of each row, it's just like a little square box. If I was to put this on the wall, it'll stop about coming up from the bottom, like from the ground up, it'll stop about like right here. So I'm going to wait to put this until after my other rows come in. I ordered some rows. I don't know why it's not doing one day shipping. Um, when I ordered these, I got it in one day. Now I got to wait till Tuesday. Today is Sunday. Very annoying. Um, and the reason being to, where, to why I ran out is, okay, I'm going to show y'all on this wall. This wall, y'all see I got wallpaper from, you know, ceiling to floor. So one roll of this wallpaper gave me one whole row right here. And it also gave me a second whole row. And then it stopped right here down at the bottom. So literally half of this. So when I bought three rows, I thought I had the calculations right. <laughs> and I thought that one row was gonna give me basically one full row and more than half. So basically one row was supposed to give me about two full rows and it did not. So I thought it was gonna be, cause this right here is two. This is one, this is one. So that's one, two, three. So I thought three was gonna be enough, but I guess I didn't look at it right, or I might have been looking at the wallpaper that I got in my um, bedroom. And yeah, anyways, so three rows literally of that got me three rows. <laughs> so I ordered three more to give me three more rows. That should be more than enough. Um, trying to map it out a little bit. It's gonna be three more rows so it's gonna go all the way to the bottom and then i still have these scrap pieces so yeah the scrap pieces i may go ahead and put up there just to have this wall completely uniform just in case i do record something long ways like this and then you see that part up there don't match so i guess in that sense it'll be fun to just use those scraps for up there but yeah i'm waiting on three more rows so now i cannot finish my room which i'm honestly pissed off about because <laughs> i at least wanted the wall and everything to be complete so i'm just going to clean up my mess and then we're going to start putting together this shelf so that i can rearrange things and kind of maximize my space in this room
all right so i'm done with this little bit of wallpaper that i have left i showed y'all that i went ahead and put the couch back in here for the time being i'm gonna move it back out when i get done to do the wallpaper but right now i think it looks cute right now i can already see the vision coming to life and then my sign going up there with the pompous grass um my only thing is trying to figure out where i want to put this five tier shelf one two three four yeah five um because i know i really want to put my packaging supply like that stuff on the bottom but then i also have those down here and then my crinkle paper and all of that i do need to go to the store and get some other type of little box or bin um because the gray is not going to be given i don't want to have that gray on there i'm probably going to try to find some cute little like brown um wicker basket or something to put right there so i would like for this to be on the wallpaper but that can't happen and i'm not doing no more wallpaper in here <laughs> like i'm wallpapered out so basically my ambition is going to put aj beauty collection the neon sign going to go in the middle pompous grass over there and then i do have two of these i need to i should have ordered two more of my amazon order so i have two of these towel rack things and once i actually put it together these are going to go up on the wall as well so the sign is going to be in the middle and then these are going to kind of poke out like that and then i'm going to hang my bundles down from here on the wall and then i'm just going to collapse this whole thing down so i'm not gonna i don't want to like i can't put this shelf anywhere on this wall because this whole wall is going to be filled with hair like just displaying my brand and it's not gonna be enough room for this. I All right, so I just got back from my office and I got a package. This is, I think I told y'all about my tripod that I've been waiting on. The tripod that I got y'all on right now, it's definitely, it's not broke, but it's broke and it's wonky. So I can't really tighten it at the top. So I definitely need another tripod. And this one is a little bit bigger as well. So it's a little bit more sturdier so that I'll be able to, uh, maneuver it a lot better especially with this camera being a little bit heavy for the one that i have right now so obviously this will be linked down in my amazon storefront this is the brand of it and this is how it looks i'm super excited it comes in black orange and another color i believe i got black at one point in time i had the orange one in my cart because y'all know my camera cover is orange just so i'll be able to spot the camera if i lose it because everything in my apartment is black so black on black just ain't gonna work for me so i've been getting orange um filming things as well as well as my uh, ring light my ring light got that orange film over it all right so oh that's why this one was like 25 dollars. it comes with the phone mount so that's good this is like my third phone mount can never have enough of those and it comes equipped in this cute little bag so i can travel with this carry it wherever i need to go i like this this is so official all right and then this is for the camera i believe real heavy duty Oh, I like that the feet, they um, rotate as well. Yeah, I'm super excited. As you can see, they rotate. So this is going to be really, really nice. OMG, hold up. So this is a little OMG. Ah, I am too official. Oh, I should have did this unboxing on TikTok. I'm gonna have to show this. All right, so here's the difference. This is my old tripod right here that y'all are on. See, it's just, I mean, it, it got the job done, you know. Not too much on her. But this little piece, I don't know. This is a piece right here that chipped off so I can't really tighten the tripod to be able to point it up and down and you know, just to point it in the direction that I need to point it. So that's why I wanted a new one. And as you can see a little close up, this I can point all different kind of directions. This rays up, like it's, it's just amazing. So we're about to go ahead and switch. Okay, so y'all on the new tripod. How it look, how it look, how it look. It's more stable. So this is the old one. I'm still gonna use this one for probably like phone content. But this is the piece right here that chipped off. This whole little silver piece is supposed to be covered by a black piece. And it chipped off so I can't like really tighten it right there because it needs that piece on the outside.
Let me, okay, so y'all see how it look right here. And then I'm gonna turn it this other way. And then we got it over there. So which way do we like? <laughs> I like, I like. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out an organization system for that. Um, this is from the home edit. This was in my pantry. Um, I don't have anything in here because I don't buy fruit snacks anymore. I'm trying to do better. So this is just empty. I don't have any snacks to go in here. Um, and I was trying to figure out how I needed to, how I was gonna place like all of my, just all of my business supplies and stuff like that and like all of this stuff which i already got in here but i'm like i kind of want it just one like one organization thing and i forgot i used to use this for my makeup and i kept it i didn't throw it away i didn't sell it because i knew it would come in handy one day but girl i've had this for like <laughs> three or four years and obviously i used it for makeup so it got like lash glue and stuff stuck and got a lash stuck right here so i'm about to clean this completely out and then i'm going to use this for thank you cards my hair tags business cards all of that kind of stuff so Okay, so we cleaned her completely out, got the lash and stuff off of there. I got majority of the glue off, but like I said, I've had this for literally probably since like right out of college. Okay, so I have this cubicle. It is three, six, nine cubes in here. This is what I used to use for my shipping items, but now we have this beautiful shelf that is also linked to my Amazon storefront. I'm kind of thinking of putting one right here and then one on either side, but we'll see when I finish my wall and see if I have any space. Y'all know I'm gonna be taking that down. Um, so yeah, this little cubicle, I did have it. Disregard all of this, I'm trying to, you know, organize and rearrange stuff, but this is my guest um, bedroom closet. So I did have it right here and it fits perfectly right here. And I was just gonna basically take that out and stuff all of that stuff in here. But if I want to put my Peloton in here, um, I don't want it too crowded with that. So then I'm like, and then I also have this like extra pillows and stuff. So that cubicle, it is 35 and a half inches long. So I was just gonna put it in my personal bedroom closet over here, Oops. as well as this. I'm switching out that small one for this one. We'll talk about that in a sec, but I was gonna put it over here behind my long dresses because you wouldn't even really be able to see it anyway. And I wanna use that for storage for my purses because this, I am trying to get my purse game up to like get a purse in like every color, you know, just to have a variety of things, as well as I got my Teflon right there. And then I got three other purses in the um, coat closet. So I'm thinking of putting that cubicle over here, hidden behind all of this, it'll fit perfectly. And I was gonna move all of my purses from over there and put that in a little cubicle, as well as just random other little bitty heels and stuff that I have right here. And then I do have this hidden back here. Cause I would like for my dresses to be over here, like up forward, but I hide all of this junk back here because these are all like bathing suits and stuff. So if I can have that cubicle in here, this is actually a cubby that goes with the cubicle. So I can go through my bathing suits and see what I want to keep and not keep, and then just store all of that in there. So that will be my purses, bathing suits, and I am getting my perfume collection up. Like I have a lot of overflow. So both of these may be perfect. Like, I maybe I just want to display cute stuff right here and I don't want people to see that you know when my closet is open so that's my thought process I'm going to bring the cubicle in here and then this one this is what I was using to house my inventory and business stuff so I still got something in here and I still got lashes in here all the other ones are clear I've had this for a while got it from big lots when I used to work there it was $20 then don't know how much it is now so my goal is to really clear out this space so that when I get my wallpaper and stuff I can just get back to it 
So this is what Prince like to sit on when he's in here. So I am going to keep this in here by the window. So I just went to my storage unit outside um, to get this little gray tote. I got a lid to it. So this is what I'm gonna put my old bedding in um, for like the fall and the winter, like all of my green stuff in my green curtains and all of that. I don't need none of that until fall time. So I'm just gonna put it in this bin and then I do have some of my black stuff and just bedding. I'm gonna just try to stuff all in here as well as in this one um to kind of maximize my space because i don't want to just throw all of this in my guest bedroom closet because i still want that to be very much functional and since this is stuff that i'm not going to be using it's just going to be in there you know collecting up space back up on my bullshit back up on the scene done dealing with you don't know how to deal with me I just wanted to pop in and say this is temporary. I just wanted to put these up. These are some old curtains. I wanted to put them up because sometimes when the sun is shining really bright, um, I would like to have a curtain up. So in the meantime, until I can get some long ones, I'm just going to use these. All right, so I'm super excited to show y'all a little update. I am clocking out for tonight. It is 8.45. I'm about to cook myself some dinner. And then I was going to start on my closet, but I kind of just want to cook dinner and then just lay down. If after I eat and stuff and if I feel like doing a little bit something else, just to switch that, you know, switch the clothes out of my closet, I will. But a little update on the room. It actually feels like an actual workspace office content room what have you super excited with how it's turning out a little sneak peek before we get done everything is completely cleared out i don't have any more just clutter in here um obviously i'm not completely done because gotta wait on the wallpaper and stuff to the bike out of here back on the floor i do need to scoot all of this over so that it can be centered with the tv because if not that's definitely going to drive me insane um Scooting the desk over, I can go ahead and do that, but it's the mirror and stuff that I gotta completely take down and scoot over that's gonna drive me insane. Y'all know this side, gotta finish up the wallpaper. When I actually finish the wallpaper and get my wall together, this rack is coming down here, it's going on that wall. And yeah, super cute. So that's a little sneak peek until we're actually done. Uh, I feel like I got a lot of stuff done. Like, I got a lot done today. Um, I'm not doing nothing else today besides eating and laying down and watching maybe some YouTube. I've been kind of stuck on like Dr. Pimple Popper and I had started this new, it's called 100 Day Dream Home or something on HBO Max. Um, me and Bae completely finished all like four to five seasons. So it's really good to me if you like home, uh, home decor shows and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm tired. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clock out. I may take this to my bedroom and work on this in bed um i like to use this calendar for fitness um i am about to start a six week program um tomorrow and it's a gym version and home version it's body by tati um i know i was talking about that Gigi girl in my last one which i really really love her but she don't have like a workout program out yet she just does like one-on-one -on -one coaching and I don't want a personal trainer because I like to be on my time. Um, that's also why I got rid of my, not got rid of, but you know, I dropped my personal trainer 
um, that I had in my actual gym because I don't know. Y'all know when I was actually working full time, it was just hard to try to make it there on a Monday at 12. Like it, it was just too much. So I'd rather be on my time because I can just go whenever I want. Don't got to cancel, reschedule, keep doing this, keep doing that and keep having to tell somebody about my whereabouts. Don't really want to do that. So body by Tati. Um, I've literally bought like three of her programs and she is a really, really good like fitness coach or whatever. Um, so I'm doing six weeks this time. I have her 30 day fat blaster as well as her, I think her very first God I got um, in like 2020 or something like her ebook. So yeah, that's what I'm going to start tomorrow. Oh, uh, y'all can go check it out if you want. But, huh. excuse me. The Gigi girl that I was talking about, I just go on her page to, I'm already, I have all the motivation in the world. I just go to her page to like be like, girl, get your butt up. Like you could be looking like this if you just get up. So that is why I like to go to her page because it just reminds me like, girl, get up, get active, go to the gym, do something, work towards your goal. So that's what her page is for me. And sometimes like meal ideas or whatever, but Body by Tati, her workout ebooks literally she posts all her transformations from her clients and people that buy them top tier 10 out of 10 amazing and i bought the um shred and sculpt so that one's six weeks so i'm excited i should have been started it on my whole little 16 off days so i got monday tuesday wednesday off so we're gonna have a strong run um she got a four and a five day split i'm gonna just do four days because i'm not about to just you know, go out on a limb and try to do every single day. So we're gonna do four days, really three, but I'm gonna shoot for the four days and we're just gonna take it from there. So that's why I really wanna do that workout calendar so I can know what days I need to go to the gym and what I need to do. And then my content plans, I do need to do that because I do got two sponsorships that I need to record this week before I go back to work. <sighs> okay. Oh God, it's too much. I mean, I need to lay down, go to bed. So yeah, it's 8 50. I'm about to cook me. Not even cook, just warm up the food that's already cooked. And then lay down. Either watch Dr. Pimple Popper or watch some YouTube videos. Probably Dr. Pimple Popper, because that's something I can just go to sleep to really quickly. And then in the morning I'ma wake up and go to the gym and then we gotta run to some stores tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It's Monday, um, March 25th, 1237 in the afternoon. Um, I kind of been waking up on and off. This morning I just didn't get up. Um, my boyfriend was supposed to come down here and was supposed to go work out together. So that's kind of why I just been laying in bed waiting on him. But he decided not to come last minute because <laughs> he's tired or whatever. So it is supposed to start raining again at like 1 o'clock. It's going to rain from 1 to like 6. We got up to a 70% chance. The wind is blowing so hard. I just took Prince outside. And yeah, I can see that the ground is wet. So it's already been raining this morning. So today... I did want to go out to a few stores or whatever, but I think I'm just going to go to the gym because today is going to be the day that I start my little six week um, program that I bought. Um, let's see, I'm on page 46. Let's go back to the first page. So it's Body by Tati. I know. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's her. If you guys know her from Instagram, um, her thing is her fitness page is Body by Tati, and then she got like a personal page or whatever. But um i bought a few of her programs as well and they work really really well i'll show you a few girlies that she posted so all of these people did the workout program that i have and i'm like yeah i need that because basically <laughs> not to be extreme but to kind of be extreme like the lady is like her stomach is a little bit bigger than mine but this is basically my problem so it's like my stomach obviously it was poking out more than you know anything else kind of so i do got a little pudge right now but it's all good and this is one that you can really really tell the difference she did really well on this one so this is the program that i want to start um it's a ton more people on her page you can go look or whatever um i got her program for like 20 dollars. it was on sale so super excited about that i'm about to eat my breakfast i just did three pieces of bacon two pieces of toast with some orange juice nothing too heavy since i am about to work out in the program, she do have a transitioning week, but I've only been out the gym for like maybe going on two weeks. She said the transitioning week is for maybe you haven't been in the gym in like a few years, you know, so whatever. Y'all can go by it and look it up. But <laughs> week one through three, 
um, is what I'm going to start this week. So I got my little board. I already start writing on it. So what I like to do is just start from today. So today is Monday. I finished out March and then I did April up to 20 up to April 27th. And then I write out the days that I work so I can kind of figure out what days I'll be able to go to the gym and whatnot. So um, she has a four and a five day split. This is Monday and Friday. This is Tuesday. And then she got Wednesday. And yeah, I'm not doing Thursday because I'm only going to go four times a week starting out because I don't want to push myself too much. So I'm going to be able to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday I do go to work, but I'll probably just work out that morning. And then Friday, I'm not going to do anything. Starting next week, I work that Monday and Tuesday. Monday, I'll just get up and go to the gym early that morning and then come back, take a nap before work. Tuesday, not even going to lie. I'm not going to wake up until it's time for me to go back to work. So I never go to the gym on like my second work day. And then I'll still have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to finish out. So that's kind of how I'm going to be rotating my days. And I kind of want to just write down like lower body, upper body, you know, on which day. So I can just look at it, cross it off when I'm done. And I am going to do a countdown on my phone for a whole six weeks. Let me go check on my bread. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to do a countdown on my phone for six weeks. Uh oh. There you go. And I am a visual person, so seeing it like this and actually crossing off something kind of just makes me feel a little bit more accomplished. So this is like the first day, and then she got the videos right there, tell you what to do and all of that. And then this is continued for the first day. So yeah, I really like it. Um, I'm gonna give it a try because everybody that's been doing it got so many good results. Like, I cannot stop looking at it. So, so I'm pissed I didn't take y'all because surprisingly today, maybe because it's like, gloomy and stormy outside um the gym was not packed for a monday i know people be at work but sometimes the gym be packed a little bit on a monday so when i get back i like to wipe down my phone with alcohol white because i do be putting it down on the uh on the ground or like on my bag and then it fall down so you know germs hello so i like to wipe that down i did stop and get chick-fil-a hmm only because yeah i needed something quick and the chick-fil-a nuggets they're like really really good protein um, I used to go to Chick-fil-A almost every day after the gym, like a year or so ago, um, because I already knew how much protein and calories that it give me. So, yeah. But tonight I am going to actually cook my own food and stuff. So, I'm about to um, wash my hands, eat, and I'll probably take Prince back outside again. It's 3 o'clock, just so we can potty before it starts pouring down raining because it really does <laughs> look cloudy now. It's supposed to start raining about an hour ago. Um, but I think it's actually just not about to come in. So it's saying rain for the next hour. And it got 100% right now. So I think it's just about to come up on us. So I'm going to try to hear up and eat and take him out. Because um, I don't want my food to get cold. And then, yeah, I just been on Instagram. Um, Ari just posted, well, her money back yo posted her ceiling challenge that she was supposed to be posting. That's what everybody talk about right now. But, um, yeah, I feel good after the gym. Um... I'm super excited for this six weeks. I am about to do a countdown on my phone right now so that I can see it every day when I open my phone. And I got a month and 10 days until this is over, Lord Jesus. So 41 days left, five weeks or a month and a week, whichever way you want to look at it. So a month and 10 days. So right now I'm about to hurry up and write down my measurements. I got my little measuring tape so it's week one i'm going to write it on a sticky note and then this is like my workout plan or whatever so i'm just going to keep this on the back or i may put it on the front i got a little magnets that can hold it up so i'm about to measure my waist glutes like everything So we're gonna go 38 and a half. Okay, so I just got out the shower and this is what we're gonna start on now. I told y'all last night, this is a bin full of swimsuits, cover-ups, just all things swim. And as you, as you can see, it's overflowing. So I'm gonna go through these and try on probably all of these or majority of these to see if they still fit or not, to see what I can throw away or donate. As well as y'all know, I put that cubicle in my room i showed y'all that last night so that's what i'm trying to consolidate this into i'm going to put cover-ups in one little bin and then swimsuits in one just so i can you know dictate through them so we're going to get the trying i'm going to try all these on and then i'll show y'all which ones i'm going to keep that i can fit in there that i can't fit anymore so we're going to go through all of these i have a ton
I still got tags on, girl. Like, I never wore these. So, I know for sure that I can wear this one because I just got this one last year and did a like swimsuit try on haul for Shein. This is a size medium, which the top I wish could be a large, but the bottoms are fine. Um, and then it comes with this cute cover up. I'll probably pop in a um video because I did do a whole like TikTok and Instagram reel to this. So, this is really cute. I love that. I know I can fit that. All right, now this I got in Miami. It is obviously Bob's Jamaica. Um, I got it in a size small. I'm pissed. I wish I would have just did medium. But back then when I was in Miami, I was a good maybe 110 pounds. So the small could definitely fit. But I wish I would have just went ahead and got a medium. This is from some store on uh, like South Beach at the little strip. So I probably may like cut this in half to try to make it into something because I really want to wear this really, 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 really bad. Unless if I could find something like this, but I think maybe Fashion Nova has something like this, but I really want to wear this for an upcoming trip. So I'm going to try this on and then see how it fit. If not, I'm just going to have to search online and try to find one just like it. All right, so I changed into my pajamas because I'm in for today, and it is 5.33, it's about to be 6 o'clock, and yeah, I don't want to be in regular clothes. So I got two bins. One bin is going to be for swimsuits, the other one, I guess it depends. I could put them all in one bin, but I kind of want to do swimsuits in one, and then I want to do like cover-ups and that, all that jazz in another one. These are all the swimsuits that I either can't fit, don't want, already wore. Got pictures in them on Instagram on. And I'm a, some of them still got tags. I'm going to see if Plato's closet um, accepts swimsuits or not. I can't remember. I don't know. If not, I'm just going to throw them away. Or I may I try to donate them or something. I don't know. But these are all the ones that I am getting rid of. Okay, since we are organizing my closet and my purses, I did want to touch base. If you watched my last weekly vlog from last week when I was unboxing my new Louis bag that I got sent to promote from The Fence, aka DH Gate, some of y'all were commenting saying that the link that I provided was not the exact same purse that I had, and that is false. It is the exact same purse. It's just 90% of the stuff that you do find on the website on The Fence. It's not going to have like the Prada logo, the Louis logo, the YSL logo, none of that, Chanel, all of that, because they are duping billion dollar businesses they can get sued in a whole bunch of other legal things so most of the companies will have just the purse be like blank or shoes whatever just be blank and you kind of just got to know what you're shopping for and what kind of purse bag shoes whatever accessory that you want um and then they're going to send it so that is the correct link that is the link that you need to order from um that's what i ordered from that's what i got sent the bag was i think ss2 so yeah, just want to touch base on that and let y'all know that that is the correct link. It's just on the site. They can't be posting all of that because they'll get sued, girl. All right, so I have a lot of perfumers, you guys know. Dossier, I love to sponsor your girl, so I got a lot of Dossier perfume, or Dossier, however you say it. Um, so I do need to get another one of these clear stackable shelves. Um, this one is actually from the Home Edit in the little kit, so I guess I'm gonna go to Ross or Burlington TJ Maxx, one of those, to see if I can find like another acrylic thing, or I may look online to see who got the cheapest one. But I do need another one of those. I really would like to get the same one from the home edit. So I may just go to Walmart and specifically look for this so it can be uniform and look alike. Um, so yeah, I was going to try to make my own, like turn this upside down. This is a drawer organizer, by the way. I was going to try to turn this upside down and put that on here. See, what I want to do when I get another one, I really want to put all of the dossier on one. And then this one would just be for all my other stuff like I got Chanel, Miss Dior, The Good Girl, Burberry Her. These were from another perfume company. Can't really even pronounce these two but 
they smell really nice so yeah i need to go to walmart and find another one of these because that's exactly what i want to do put all of those together. i don't know exactly what i want to put right here i know i'm going to display all of my perfume right here this one i do have <laughs> i do have this jewelry box um but obviously it's green so i need to find another one when i go out tomorrow i may try to find like a little simple one um at like tj Maxx, brothers in one of those places because maybe one that isn't like a box but like one that you can like hang stuff on i don't know to kind of display it a little bit better we'll see what i can find but i obviously want a black one for the spring and summertime so i was thinking of putting that right there because i kind of want to have this little bitty top counter um free like nothing right here just in case if i you know need to do something right here i don't want it packed with all of this stuff so i do need to buy me a new glass organizer because it definitely broke and i literally hot glued it <laughs> back together so i was thinking of trying to display this but i don't even know if this is gonna fit yeah this is definitely way too tall so that's not gonna work this regard my hair it got wet i went to the gym today and it got wet outside it literally poured down raining when i went to check my mailbox with prince and go walk him so who is steady walking by my front door somebody was just my front door doing something i had my umbrella out there and i don't know what they was doing but let's open up my mail um funny story i think i know exactly what this is it feels like a card so i'm thinking this is my new debit card your weekly recap is ready so let's see it came from omaha nebraska oh no this ain't what i thought it was so i'm waiting on <gasps> that was they did say credit one didn't it where's my mail this is okay yeah your card is arriving soon okay so anyways chase is my bank right so <sighs> i think friday i had looked at my transactions and stuff and it said i was charged <gasps> twice from paypal like 112 dollars and like whatever cents 50 cents or something and i'm like baby what did i buy and why did y'all charge me 112 dollars twice the exact same amount so what's really going on so i called chase whatever filed a claim they cancel my car send me out another one and come to find out girl hmm I go on PayPal, which I should have just called PayPal at first or just really took the time to really like look through other transactions and stuff. I bought some plane tickets. <laughs> I bought some plane tickets through PayPal. And instead of them, they were supposed to charge like $224 or something. So they split that in half and did $112. i am like, why did y'all do this? So they had me thinking, girl, some fraudulent activity was going on. <laughs> so... It wasn't, but I'm still waiting on my card to come in the mail. This is a card, but this is a new credit card that I got. Um, and I'm not going to use this. This is strictly going to be... Oh, excuse me. This card is strictly going to be like emergencies only. So I am going to um, activate this and stuff tonight. So I do have two other credit cards. Um, and I do have like my streaming services coming off of those. So this one just to, i may just use it for gas right now and then pay it come like play it off pay it off immediately just so you know start building that with uh building my credit some more and stuff with this one but yeah this is strictly going to be for emergencies only so now i have three credit cards lord jesus put that to the side i don't know what this one is this one came from wait park minnesota what is that ah 
Girl, y'all is not getting anything from me. Okay. Well, okay. We'll, we'll look at that a little bit later. Um, I do have my water boiling for my macaroni. I'm about to go ahead and do a little hour speed clean. You guys know I do like to do that. So I gotta, I'm about to just put all of this in a garbage bag because at this point I'm kind of over it. As well as I got some stuff in my um closet that I wanted to either sell, um, take it to Poshmark, sell online, or just whatever. But I may just take all of this to like the Goodwill or somewhere, donate it into one of them little things that be in the shopping uh, centers. So I don't know, I'm just about to bag it all up into a garbage bag because I'm tired of it and I need to also clear out some more space in my closet. So I'm just gonna put all of it in the garbage bag, but I am gonna set my stuff for an hour. Um, it's a dog. Um, I'm, I'm about to do an hour on my timer. Hey y'all, I'm back from the gym. Today is Tuesday, um, March 26, 12, 15 in the afternoon. Just got back from the gym, picked up my package, and I'm about to open it. Pretty sure this is my wallpaper. Just want to open it, make sure it's everything that I need and that I ordered. Super excited to finish my wall today. And then after I shower and eat, they're going to Chick-fil-A again. That's kind of like my little routine. I do need to start getting grilled nuggets though, but for right now, we're just going to rock out with this. So, got my little Chick-fil-A combo. It's about like 900 calories, so that's perfect. And like I said, it's only noon. So, when I get done showering, eating, going to these few stores, I'm going to come back and I'm probably going to work up another appetite. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat my little chick. I'm going to eat the chicken breast and find something else to make with it. And then, yeah, I'm going to eat dinner. So, my breakfast is not big at all this morning, so that's why I feel like I'm really hungry today. I only ate four pieces of bacon. I do got to go get some more breakfast food. So we got three more rolls of this wallpaper. My boyfriend is supposed to come tomorrow to help me do this collaboration that's down here, this big old box. And then as y'all can see, I got a lot of boxes over here in the corner. I do got to throw all of that out. I'll probably break these. I'll probably break that box down just so it'll be easier. But the other one you'll be able to carry. So, yeah, I had a good workout. I'm feeling good. I love working out in the morning. And also, some people ask me how I keep my hair, you know, looking good or whatever doing a workout. Today was upper body. So, with upper body, I usually just trying to clip my hair up to keep it off of my neck. Or I'll just do kind of, even though I got tracks and stuff back here, but I don't care. I work out in the women's room. So, you know, we all know what real hair is, what <laughs> fake hair is. So, I kind of keep it up a little higher to where it's not on my neck. And upper body days are easy because I'm not having to put a bar behind me, lay back on stuff. Like, it's just easier. So, that's how I keep my hair good. I did tie my hair down yesterday for leg day, but I probably won't do that again. For leg day, I'll probably just kind of keep my hair slicked back like this, put it in a ponytail, and then I'm going to clip my hair up like this so that it's not completely on me. So yeah um when i do this wallpaper today i do want to run to the stores first like i said it's 12. i'll probably be done showering eating and stuff like that by um like one o'clock i do want to leave out at one and maybe honestly be back by like 2 30. Uh, i do know exactly what i'm going to go pick up but i do got to go to a few stores so with traffic and stuff it may prolong it but i would like to be back by like 2 30. <sighs> all right i'm about to eat wash my hands and stuff and talk to y'all when we about to go to some stores. Blame it on the physical. I could blame it on your lips, your touch, your kiss, you know, real traditional. But your love's too original. You were anything but conventional. Baby, did you know that from the moment we fell in and knew we could? Hey y'all, I am in Walmart parking lot. 
just left i'm about to scan my receipt because i'm super excited i should hit my go on my fetch app y'all know i talk about all the time to scan your receipts and get points back so that you can basically get gift cards and stuff so i'm trying to get a 50 dollars gift card and i want to use this gift card to ikea this time my last one was to amazon so this should get me <laughs> to like fifty three thousand. I'm looking around my surroundings because yeah, it's a lady walking around and she looking a little suspect. <laughs> so I'm watching. Period. I just got 3,300 points and it's from some dog food. I just had to spend $60 on the Caesar wet dog food and I get prints. I used to feed him that all the time. So I just got, I think four or five of those. They're like $1.97 a piece. So period, let's see, I'm at 54,212. I'm about to see if I'm able to get an Ikea card, I-K-E-A, yep. Right there, you can just type in what you want. In Ikea, you can either get a $25 gift card $25 gift card or a $50 gift card. I'm gonna do $50 and I'm gonna use that for my Ikea mirror. I really wanna go get it. I would like to go get it tomorrow, but I may just save it to next week. Um, I'm not gonna cash out the gift card yet until I'm actually ready to buy the mirror. So I'm just gonna keep getting points and stuff, but let me screenshot how many points I got as well, just in case they try to do some funny business. All right, so yeah. I'm about to go ahead and go home and do a little um not really unboxing i'm just gonna show y'all what i got from walmart and then we gonna finish up my beauty room hopefully i can finish everything today i got my wallpaper and everything and it's looking really good i'm about to go ahead and head home caught y'all see see how i did that yeah i probably just go to costco somewhere i'll probably leave that early in the morning all right so i'm back home from wally world quick little haul show y'all what i got I got some potatoes. I've been out of potatoes for about a week, two weeks now. Cause y'all know I've been on that instant mashed potato trend since my mama didn't let me try them out. They good, but you know, they don't like them real potatoes. So I got some of that. And then I got a all purpose kitchen brush. I got another one because this one, I've had this for some months like over six months probably and i just want to change it out it's not like the bristles aren't bad or anything but you know just to keep everything sanitary i'm gonna switch it out and then i bought another one clean that up real good and then i told y'all in the car that i bought these little bitty um they're called toppers this isn't like something that your dog should just eat as their meal you just put it on top of their kibble or like their regular food that's not kibble so i needed to buy six dollars worth of these to get three thousand points on my fetch app and i did so now i'm going to be able to get fifty dollars off like i told y'all at ikea and get my ikea mirror so i got six of these four or five of these i think i got chicken carrots and spinach chicken carrots green beans for him beef chicken purple potatoes peas and all that jazz and then i got one that's just chicken this is what i meant to buy when i told y'all i think in my last um weekly vlog when i was doing household shopping i was trying to find the rinse aid and i bought a bigger like thing of detergent and i was meaning to buy this so i got this and then y'all know i love my little sausages smoked sausages i cook this with everything i got four packs of those got ground beef listen i know i don't need this but this is my little guilty snack pleasure come with a two pack i got these though because my mama um gave me some like two weeks ago and one little pizza is 15 grams of protein and 430 calories so yeah duh that's easy and i can eat that in like two minutes so got some more syrup need some more of that this is the other smoked sausage and then last two bags i got some apples for a healthier snack and i also got some peanut butter so I'ma eat apples and peanut butter for a snack. Needed some more butter, got that. And then this is what I got at Michael's. I don't know if I showed y'all this or not, but this is what I'm gonna be putting my pompous grass in for my little floor arrangement. And then I believe I talked to y'all either my, I think two vlogs ago, how I was telling y'all that I wanted to make my own homemade greens. And I was in Walmart today, since it was still kind of early, they had just put out fresh produce and these are like, the fresh well it don't look too good up there that much but <laughs> these are the fresh ones that they had just put out i wanted to make my own collard greens y'all always be like 
where the vegetable is, where the vegetable is. So I got me some collard greens. I'm gonna make these probably tomorrow. I was looking for lamb because I wanted to do greens. Well, I wanted to do collard greens, lamb, and some mac and cheese. So I'm just gonna make that tomorrow. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I should have got like three because you know greens shrink in the water so I only got two two of them I should have got three but it's cool uh, I'm gonna see how how I like it I'm gonna have to get the rest of my ingredients tomorrow because I want to make lamb if I can't find no lamb I'm just gonna do like some other pork chops or something again and then I do I want some lamb and I need to find me a smoked turkey leg or smoked ham to put inside the greens because I don't want to add bacon or anything. So yeah, that's my little haul. Uh, I have to put all this stuff away and then we're going to get started on my wallpaper. I'm back home. Um, I went and walked Prince and took out the trash and then I helped uh, Janae bring up Parker. <clears throat> and I was there playing with the baby for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, it is 4.19 so I am a little bit behind schedule. But what I'm going to do right now is just finish the wallpaper. And then when I'm done with the wallpaper, I am going to go ahead and eat. I'm going to fix me dinner pretty early since, you know, I only had bacon for breakfast. I think I told y'all. So especially me working out, I always gain an appetite when I work out. So after this wallpaper, I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to try to figure out how I want to do the little pompous grass arrangement. So we got three new rows. So let's get to it. Who still got me to choke her real bad? All right, so I am done with the wall. I feel like it didn't take that long. Um, so I just had to do three rows. And like I said, this is my third time literally doing wallpaper, so it looks amazing. I'm about to take a quick break before I start on my neon sign back here. Um, I need a eat, eating break. Um, I think I ate last at like, when did I eat? I'm back home like 12 or one o'clock, I think. No, like I left at one. Ate it like 12. So I'm gonna use this to do a little pompous grass stuff. Pompous grass is behind me. Um, now that I've been looking online, I wish that I would have got maybe another box of these big ones, but I'm gonna make it work because I don't feel like waiting on anything else from Amazon. All right, so I measured out the wall. You can see the measuring tape down below. My wall is eight feet. So I'm gonna put this right at four feet. Um, yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. I looked at a few, I guess, tutorials on TikTok. Honestly, it's not even really a tutorial. Like, it's people just showing it, like, in fast motion. People aren't really, like, explaining it, which it's not really something to just explain, but, like, ain't nobody saying no words. So, <laughs> I hope I do it right. Um, my boyfriend is coming tomorrow. I wanted to wait until he got here, but I kind of just want this finished so that I can, I want to do, like, an unwind with me video tonight. And it's already about to be eight o'clock and I don't really feel like <laughs> I'm going to be putting my all into this unwind with me. So we'll see. Um, tomorrow is my last off day and I don't really have a video for tomorrow, which is Thursday. Um, I can probably edit my entrepreneur vlog and post that for tomorrow. Um, but in that vlog, I wanted to kind of show some updates. I don't know. We'll see. It may be a vlog tomorrow. It may not be. And if I put this, I think I want it about right here. So if I do it right here, then the pompous grass, yeah, that'll be perfect. So since I'm gonna be putting this pompous grass and stuff in the wall, I'm, it's gonna be probably heavy. So I'm gonna be using these screws. They're two inch screws. I've had these for a while. Um, I like to use these for larger like picture frames, just any type of large, item anything that's heavy i like to use these because they go obviously deeper into the wall and i know nothing will fall off when i use these
hole is too big for the nail, so I'm just gonna take off the base and drill this part in the wall so that I know it'll stay on there. And I'm trying to do it without sticking my nails in this. My drill is dead. I know every time I try to drill something, it is dead, so it's charging. Right now, I'm just using this handheld one and we just gonna rock out because I'm ready to be done with this. It's 9.56. What time did I start this? Oh, okay. Girl, it's up. Wallpaper's up. The sign is up. It's in the middle of the wall. We scrape. Y'all not in the middle, so it's not going to look like it's in the middle, but this the middle. Right at four feet. So, only thing I have to do now, I have two little shower towel rod thingies. This one is already put together. Um, this one I was going to put together for my little TikTok Instagram reel. I literally record all of this stuff since like last year and I have not posted really on like TikTok and definitely not on Instagram. It's just Instagram just seems so ugh. Like, why are you watching me? Is how Instagram feels. Like, why are you watching me? Why are you judging? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? It's a lot of whys on Instagram to me. Um, <laughs> and I would really like to just post and do all of this stuff on Instagram, but it's just Instagram to me is just seem like really, really fake. And it's like if you're not putting up a certain persona, like your stuff don't do well. I don't know. It's real, it's really, really weird over there. TikTok, I absolutely love. I've been getting 30k, 100k, 200k views, all of that. The girlies love me over here. I love y'all. <laughs> TikTok is just really easy, business wise and like regular, just my content wise. So I am gonna start, I think I'm gonna start off with TikTok first. <clears throat> I wanted to do this, I wanted to do it next month, um, start and post like two to three times a week through TikTok to like gain up to 10K. My goal is just to get to 10K, honestly, at this point, so I can be able to link all of my videos in one category. I talk about this all the time, so. If you don't follow me on TikTok, baby, go follow me on TikTok. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be editing a lot of videos <clears throat> maybe next week so that I can post, it, at the very least, two videos a week. Two is better than nothing. And me posting like for like two and a half weeks consistently, like last month, literally gave me like 500 followers. So if I just post for a whole month, two to three times a week, who knows how many followers I can get? So. This is a rod that I'm going to put my glasses back on. I did this so the glare. So my thought process with this <clears throat> was to put it on the side. To put it on the side and have bundles hanging down. Um, I didn't want to go too high because girl, who really about to be reaching up there? So I wanted four of these. Like my thought process was to have one up here and then have another one down low because the couch is going to be in the middle and then on this side thought process was the same to have one kind of up high and then have another one a little bit lower right here kind of like eye level so that y'all know i sell raw hair and virgin hair that side will be raw this side will be virgin hair and then i can have body weight straight deep wave and curly same vice versa over here for the virgin hair so <laughs> I don't really know. I'm about to clean up my mess though and put this couch back in the middle to kind of see. Um, I'm probably going to take a picture of this first, like with everything set up, and then go into Canva and like Photoshop this to see if I want two or one. I tend to do that a lot. If you want to like really see how your space is going to look, you know how like Amazon and other places they'll basically say, turn the camera around and like put the item in your like living room or like in your house to see if the item will fit. That's basically what I do for Canva. I just take a picture of whatever background and then just insert, you know, all the little decor pieces. So if you use like Photoshop and stuff like that, by all means, go do that. That's really advanced. I just do a little bit of Canva and just plug in this stuff. So I like all of this. The only thing is I didn't realize, obviously this is clear. I'm gonna have to buy some more pompous from Amazon or 
go get some in the store or something or maybe i'll just go to like a uh, dollar tree or something i saw some girls put like flowers in the middle so maybe if i can find like some brown tannish flowers i'll do that but i don't know i had to take some pompous out the side so it does look a little sparse so i may or may not order some more of this bigger pompous that big long pompous came in a set of nine so i may go ahead and just order that to fill in the back pieces to make it kind of just you know blossom out a little bit more but i do need to find like some little bitty flowers or something to put right here because you can when this is turned off you'll be able to see the green box basically obviously right now you can't really see the green box so i'm about to clean up my mess because this freaking pump has got everywhere this literally goes everywhere not even sure if this charged up but we gonna see yep i got two bars see how well it works That works pretty well. Glad they sent this to me for free, <laughs> but it's from Shein. It's the brand. This is the other one um, that they sent me as well, same time, um, same brand. This one just gets a little bit more like a deeper clean for like dust and stuff like that. So as you can see, I be using this one all the time. So I'm gonna go in and get the rest of the little bitty particles up. Lastly, what I do is just get a lint roller and kind of just get the rest of the little lint off, but I'll do that another day. <laughs> My camera definitely helps out. And then this is what it looks like, 0.5. I kind of scoot it closer and then this is just regular. So stinking cute. I cannot believe this is my apartment and this is my setup. This is the type of stuff that I be seeing on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. And it's like, oh my gosh, I wish I had that. I wish that was, you know, my room. I wish this, I wish that. And baby, I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> it's all mine. All right. So, so I just did my little mock up. <laughs> So these are, I kind of measured how far it will be apart. I think it looks better with four. It just looks more uniform. It looks more even. It just looks more put together. So I think I do want to go ahead and do four. So I'm going to have to order two more from Amazon, but I'm going to go ahead and put the first two at the very top up. And then when I get the other two from Amazon, I'll put the ones on the bottom. Um, my longest bundle that I normally have on hand is like 30 inches. So I do have a 26 inch bundle right here. Um, this is 26. Turn this up with the frame of the door, like right here. You guys can see that right where it kind of opens up. I'm lining it up at the opening and then I'll be able to line it up over there as well. So this is 26 inches. So if I line it up like that, that's 26 inches. It'll come down to about where? It'll come down to almost kind of close to the light. So another couple inches, it'll be at the light. And then I feel like if I put the other one, it is gonna cover the light switch, but I feel like that'll be okay. <laughs> it'll come down. Now, it is Wednesday, March 27th. And as you can see, I got my robe on here tied up. I'm about to do a quick little makeup, not even beat, just, popping a little foundation eyebrows and stuff like that on um, me and Bay got a dinner date he literally texted me this morning and put it in like invisible ink or whatever it was like date night and made a reservation and everything so period we love that <laughs> and i've been saying i wanted to go back to this place if y'all remember we went here um in the this video when i went bowling and you know i got drunk and stuff like that <laughs> so we're gonna be going back there. It's called The Experience. It's downtown. It's uh, it's new. It opened up some months, uh, a few months ago. It ain't even been open up a year or whatever. But girl, if y'all remember me raving about them, goddamn 
collard greens. That's what made me want to make my own greens at home as well as my aunt from Thanksgiving. So I did buy, you know, the greens, whatever. So it's funny because I was going to cook my own like homemade greens today and lamb and literally the place that I've been wanting to go to for the exact meal, he made a reservation for. So super excited. I'm just patting in the um, e.l.f. primer. Y'all know this is basically like a dupe for the Milk Hydro Primer. Absolutely love it. Um, the e.l.f. primer is definitely under like $10. So you're supposed to pat it in, you don't rub it in. The back of the thing says pat. So that's what I'm doing. I am gonna go ahead and start on my eyebrows first. I do like to rub that in because I don't want them to like rub off as easily. So yeah, I'm gonna use my brow pencil. Um, ever since I got this brow pencil, I haven't really been using my Anastasia dip brow powder or whatever whatever it's called um because i just like the lighter brow look and even though you can still have a very very light hand with the dill powder i still feel like sometimes it's just a little bit too harsh so it's 5 37 and our reservation is at what time seven and we basically are 20 something minutes away i'm just gonna do light brush strokes y'all saw me in the last video kind of do my eyebrows and stuff so i'm not gonna go too much into this um, I really don't want to put on lashes either, but we'll see. I may try to do like some eyeliner or something and then just pack on some mascara because I don't want to have to worry about my glasses and not being able to wear them. Y'all know I'm not a contacts girly. Um, I've never tried contacts, but I know I would never ever do it as of right now. They say never say never, but I just cannot stick anything into my eye. Like I can barely even give myself eye drops. So I just know contacts is just a no-go. But I really wish I was able to wear contacts for, you know, numerous reasons so that I can just be out all willy-nilly without no glasses on. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm ready for this food. It is so good. If you're local and you have not been yet, definitely go. Our first time going was really nice. Experience was well. It was with some of my friends and my boyfriend. His friend was there. And I'm gonna let some music play because y'all saw me get ready in the last one. I'm not gonna do too much in this one. But just wanted to update y'all today. I don't think I um, talked to y'all. We just got back from outside with Prince. I'll probably pop in a little video. Um, I am gonna actually have a sponsored video coming up about what we did today. But basically, this company sent me a freaking like scooter. It's literally right here. You guys can see that. A freaking scooter. So we literally went outside or whatever and was like trying it out seeing how it works and stuff tomorrow after we get back from the gym i do gotta work tomorrow so we're gonna have to do this like real early they want me to take like 20 pictures i just want to kind of go ahead and get it out the way especially while he's here so i can have someone take my pictures of me they want like 20 pictures of me on the scooter and you know just different angles and whatnot so while he's here i am going to try to hear up and do that y'all know my friend janae does live under me but she just had surgery and stuff, and you know, that's just not ideal for her to just be out, you know, doing all of that, cause she can't, she can't be doing all that. So yeah, I'm about to finish my makeup. I'll probably pop in and out, showing y'all different things, but y'all saw me do my makeup a hundred times. So I'll talk to y'all when I'm done. So I can listen to my music too, girl. So the list of play Chris Brown. You do that to the camera? Uh, I wouldn't have the camera. Uh. You don't look like it anymore. Audrey, can you put them clothes in the dryer? On top of the washer? On top of the washer? On top of the washer? I gotta get some more foundation. In the winter time, I like to use the Fenty foundation. I kept it so I can remember what my number is, but I love the Fenty Beauty um, Hydro Milk Primer. Ooh, it's coming down too. I may have a little bit left. I like this one. Um, my face is still a little bit light right now because I haven't really been outside, but this one is basically a dupe for my MAC NC, NC 50. That's my like summer shade color because I do obviously get dark in the summertime. So I've been using this dupe because they didn't have the one that I wanted. And I'm just gonna dip into this to do the top of my brows real quick. 
all access cause you mad you can go wherever with that ass show to the shower to the truck truck to the club for the party you go in first with your girls cause i don't know who's out there watching but i do know one thing though women they come they go saturday through sunday monday monday sunday yo maybe i love you one day maybe we'll someday grow till then i sit my drunk ass on that runway on this one way Baby, baby, won't you need me? Ride a beam. Too early, baby, lady, you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. Tell me she did, she loved it, especially when she I've been. But enough. 30 degrees, way too close, so hold me tight. Will I see you at the show tonight? Will I see you at the show tonight? So we just got done eating. Bay had to go back into the restaurant because he forgot his to-go play. He literally saved his appetizer and then he saved, sorry, <laughs> he saved his appetizer and then he saved uh, like one piece of his catfish. I had the lamb, I had the mac and cheese and the greens. Girl, the mac and cheese and the greens, so good, so fire. I'm tipsy, have me a drink and they do complimentary champagne. So I had basically two drinks, y'all know I'm a late wait. So it don't take much for me to get lit. So I'm ready to go home with my man, period. And yeah, relax, uh, watch or something. He ran back in there. Hopefully they didn't, you know, throw away nothing yet. Cause I'm um, honey, our tab. <laughs> it was a tab, okay? This is our second time there. And maybe every time we go, they near $200. Our tab was a lot. Here you go. <laughs> Where did they take it? Nah, they weren't there for She said, we ain't there for that. <laughs> good, good. So, yeah, I'm about to do my little fetch rewards. And we about to go home. Your food was good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you tired? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just took out running. Oh, Lord. Lucky though. Like he Downtown. Yeah, yeah, all the crackheads down. Chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say no to crack. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna scan my stuff. Oh my gosh, those greens are so good. The store is period. Got my points. Period. 25 points. I'm at 54,237. So I'm gonna get up here and we about to um roll it out. When did we go? Hmm, what day was your birthday? Did they have half price drinks on Wednesday? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At Rock Town. Alright, I'm gone. Bye y'all. See y'all at home. <laughs> I know this is not the proper ending that you guys like, but I will show the full transformation in my next weekly vlog. I did just get two more things for the room, so I'm going to be showing y'all that next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And until my next one, I will see you lovely then. Bye, guys.